all right guys welcome back to another mango machis video and we're gonna be doing another unpackaging oh yeah getting right into it Ooh. oh dang those are a lot bigger than I thought. So, if you guys um, don't know or you haven't seen all the videos on the channel, uh, occasionally I talk about how my family is from Laos. And um, so I got a Lao Alphabet Tracing Workbook. So this should help me with getting to know how to read and write in Lao properly. And then this one is Master the Lao Alphabet. It's the same thing, it's just bigger. Um, the actual letters are darker. Oh, that's cool. So this one doesn't really give you, it just gives you a specific word. So that word, egg, is kai. So it's, it's a very tonal language. So if you say kai, like with a G, that means chicken. And then there's kai, which means egg. Or kai can mean like, like a boil or something, depending on how you use it in a sentence. Yeah. See, like chicken, kai, that's a whole nother thing. But this, on this one, it's, it shows you serif style on how to write it and sans serif style on how to write it. And it even gives you like, the directions transliteration and pronunciation so the initial is ph ipa 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 ph or p as in pack and it tells you the tone class is is high tone and it shows you all the different variations of the lettering which i think is really really cool and you get to trace all of those, too. So, if it's in the... if I like this one, because it shows you if it's the initial letter, then it's pronounced like a B, but if it's a final letter, then it's a, more of a P sound. And then I also have the same workbook that Cody had done a review on, so, yeah. These, I want to get to know my language more. I mean, this is my first language, but I learned everything verbally. And when we moved to Florida and my mom stopped speaking Lao as much around me because she didn't have as many people to speak Lao with, with her, um, it's, uh, I lost a lot of it. I used to be very fluent. I used to be able to translate things very well and not be google translate branded but now i'm google translate branded and i've lost a lot of it because now english is my dominant language and i still barely english well so yeah anyways so on this workbook it shows you um so there's a fish that word is ba ba no wait ba is like Ginpa. So it's like eat fish, ginpa. And then there's numbers. So sam, si, ha. And then that's why in like in the comment section, you'll see a lot of Thai people or Lao people write five, 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 five because that's like saying ha, 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 ha because the word for five is ha. So ha, 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 ha. That's why you see Thai people write that in the comments all the time. Um, but yeah, Sam, Si, Ha, 
three, four, five. And then kai is chicken. And then kai is egg. And then there is kwai. I think it's a water, bu- water buffalo. Kwai. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Kwai. But yeah, I really like the difference between these two. And uh, yeah, so Lao Alphabet Tracing Workbook for Beginners. Uh, I've never had to read or write Lao, but I know how to recognize it. I've seen it enough in Facebook with my family. Um, And then this one, Master Lao Alphabet, a handwriting practice workbook. Perfect your calligraphy skills in both the traditional... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. A handwriting practice workbook. Perfect your calligraphy skills in both the traditional and the modern Lao writing styles. So this one, this is by Lang Workbooks, Important Legal Information. This workbook is a labor of love. Accordingly, if you are a teacher, a student of Lao, or homeschooling your children, I grant you the non-commercial right to photocopy any part of this workbook for your own or your or your student's personal use. Copyright uh, 2020. So, yeah, this wasn't a thing when I really wanted to start learning Lao. Um, So, I naturally just picked up Korean a lot when I was getting into K-pop more. So, I know how to read more Hangul than I do Lao. So, this is rain. The word is hon. Like, hon dok de ob. That's like, that song is like similar to like rain rain go away come again another day so fun the rain fall this is my google translate i don't know the actual translation but this is like my google translate brain so fun is rain fun dok dok is like fall rain fall that uh, it's like sunny out sunshine out something like that bright out i don't know what this word is but it's a bee. I don't know what how to say the word for mountain. I don't know what the word for goat is. Oh, there's this word. Nok. That's bird. Nok. 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 That's how I say it. Nok. 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 I don't know. Oh, oh. The word bag is tong. I know there's a th, but it's tong, tong. This is the word i. That's ta, ta. I know it's just ta, but it's ta. This is the word kid, dek, dek. So, dek noi would be like a child or small, small kid. This is a fly or. Yung, yung, yung. Ooh, ooh. Sang. So, Thai people say Chang, and Lao people we say Sang. So, there's a there's a there's a song all about uh, about elephants. Sang, 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 sang. Sang, kai hen sang lu lao. Sang ban. I don't know. So this tiger, sua, sua. And then the word for snake, moo, moo. I don't know. I'm just really excited to share this with you guys. Koi, 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 koi. I don't. I don't remember how to say that word. Koi, 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 kai. This one is a little newer. This is by Little Dumpling Press. Uh, copyright is 2021. I'm really happy that there's more stuff um, to learn Lao nowadays because I didn't have that growing up. All I had was actual Lao workbooks and uh, they don't have the English stuff in it. But my grandma had given me a workbook from actual Lao elementary school 
that she had gotten sent to the U.S. by her family members that are still in Laos. But anyways, I thought this was really cool, and I thought I'd share this part of my life with you guys. Um, because you guys helped build this channel to what it is, and I appreciate all of you. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and the links to these items will be in the review videos. But since this is just an unpackaging, you guys can freely look this up if you want, if you're interested. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!